Hey, listen to me. Our, our Ajebo generation, fasting is important for a man's destiny. You will never be able to do business with God if you cannot turn your plates upside down. There are times you need to sit like Elijah. You write the list of all the nonsense you saw that must change. One by one you are praying. What is this I saw about my wife? What is this I saw about my husband? What is this I saw about my business? I saw an attack. I, I'm sleeping and all of a sudden I have a dream. And in that dream I see chains everywhere. In that dream I see people crying. You don't need an interpretation. The character of scripture shows you that mourning is not associated with glory. So already let the Bible interpret that for you that is trouble. You can call somebody. I pray that you will have a good friend. That when you need to change prophecy, he will be available with you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That you have a good friend that you say, please, can you stay awake for three hours with me today? I'm sensing the spirit of death over my family. I don't know, but I've been sensing it. And the person says, ah, you know, coincidentally, I had a dream of death. It shouldn't put fear. Your consolation is that the most sure word of prophecy has an ability to superimpose everything planned. And you can get up in the night and agree. And both of you are praying. How do you pray? You engage the truth of scripture. You don't pray and say, God, why now? Where are you? Is it that are you still there? That, that's not prayer. That's just lamentation. You begin to pray when you engage the truth of God's word. I choose life. I'm the head of this home. My children may be too small to choose life, but I stand as a covering. I choose life. It's the when they are in school, I choose life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I've taught you this thing. Listen, if you are married in this place, young or old, you are a man. If you don't go around praying and laying hands on your children, you are not a very good ambassador of this ministry. The children should be sleeping. Don't worry, you are not a father because they serve you plate and you are sitting down. You get up and carry that regalia of priesthood. You are changing negative prophecies. Your child comes back with a result from second position to twelve. The other one from 4 to 18. You don't just flog them. No! Psalm 112. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. This is prophecy now. That delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty. This is not might. Lord, you have said my seed shall be mighty. While you are speaking that word, there are powers, let me tell you, that reside in the heavenlies. You speak and command your money. He told Job, as thou commanded thy money. You, are, you, are, you sleep and wake up with a dream. Someone injects you with HIV and tells you this is HIV. You get up and say, and you know, I'm feeling the spot. You get up and see marks on your body. Physical marks from a dream. And you sit down and just laugh. Laugh? No matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake. As mad as he is, he comes near fire, he will move. I'm not that mad. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind we want to dwell under the shadow of your wings over every challenge in my life blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with blow blow say Listen, everything you see in your dream is prophecy, seeking manifestation, good or bad. Everything you see in your dream, in your vision is a prophecy. 
seeking manifestation. You can allow it, you can change it, you can stop it. Inaction is a disaster to a believer. It's what you don't want that you will see happen. Can you open your mouth in one minute and just blast in the spirit? Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Please look at me. One of the demands of priesthood, get my message on priesthood, is that men become men of prayer. Not just prayer in terms of petition, but legislators of spiritual reality. Anything you sit and watch will happen. Did you hear what I said? Listen. There was no record of Job praying for himself. There was no record of any man praying for Job. The devil came through him and through his covering to afflict his family. He prayed for his children. It's true that he feared God. It's true that he ensured evil. But that's not the speech for deliverance. You must know how to pray and engage. Listen, let me tell you. Let the devil get used to you not keeping quiet when negative things come. Don't say I'm not a member of prayer band. I'm not a member of this and that. The times that we live in, let me tell you, it requires men with the spirit of Issachar. It's a man who had an understanding of the times. Otherwise, you can confess, I shall not die. And death will sweep you like a chicken. You must have the eyes that see. Lift your voice and begin to pray. I change everything that is not consistent with the counsel of God concerning my life my family, my finances. Please pray, pray. I change everything in the name of Jesus Christ. Every prophecy that is not of God seeking manifestation through my life I reject you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I reject you. I speak the word, the most sure word of prophecy. I shall not die, but leave the head, not the tail, above only, not beneath. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I'd like you to find someone to agree with you. Everything God said, or you have seen in the spirit, that is consistent with God's will, and has been hunting by any power of divination within the second heavens, lift your voice and cry. I command that it must come to pass. I wore a good warfare in the realm of the spirit. I decree and I declare. 
the joy, the peace, the prosperity, the blessing, the anointing upon my ministry, upon my life. I declare the powers of the heavens holding everything that belongs to me. I command the release by the power of the word of God. Pray. Two ministers were done. You are enforcing prophecy. Hallelujah. Matthew 18, 18, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Yahweh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, say, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, now. Please listen to me. Please listen. Listen. That everything that belongs to me and has been held by any power, it must be released now. Not tomorrow. Now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Koinonia, pray. Pray prophecy to manifestation. Pray prophecy to manifestation. I command the release in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Last prayer, and we are done tonight. Psalm 91. Psalm 91. 
He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, Him I will trust. Continue, please. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. 4. He shall cover me with His feathers and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. 5. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that wasted or flyed by day. Listen very carefully. Look at what the Bible is writing here. Next verse. 6. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. 7. A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand by thy right side. It shall not come nigh thee. 8. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Listen. That means every time you hear of negative things, someone is dying, they are kidnapping someone, this is happening. In as much as you sympathize with people, you don't do them at the detriment of your own conviction. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? If Joshua Selman dies today, it does not mean that the truth of scripture giving life is a lie. So in as much as you sympathize with people, do it lovingly, but not at the detriment of the immutability of God's counsel. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. Until you rise up to possess your possession, you will never, never possess your possession. Jesus was in the wilderness praying and fasting for 40 days. Satan came to tempt him. When he defeated him, he returned in the power of the spirit and his fame went abroad. Let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there are controlling powers that continue to see that negative prophecies continue to be enforced in our lives. And until the saints understand how to legislate by the Spirit, we will continue to be victims of the speakings of men. Last prayer. Father, every prophetic word that came through your word or through your servant upon my life this year, I stand in partnership. I call it Maranatha. Let that prophecy manifest in my life. Lift your voice and pray. The conditions to make it happen. I obtain grace to understand. I obtain grace to walk in peace with it. Pray. Every prophetic word about my spiritual life, about my finances, about my marriage, about fruitfulness, I receive by the Spirit. I obtain grace. I obtain understanding. I obtain grace. I obtain understanding to know what to do, to know how to partner with prophecy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just one testimony and we'll round up tonight. A gentleman sent me a text and he said he was tired of what was happening to him and his family. You know what people call failure at the edge of breakthrough? That you see good things, but just when your hand is about to obtain it, trouble must ferment itself from wherever and come and destroy you. He said he was tired and one night he took out time that if he's to die here, he would die and he would pray. Listen to me, true story. He was praying, he said he had come here with an oil that I prayed for and then, you know, he went back and applied that oil and he was praying and praying and praying and then it looked like he fell into a trance. And according to him, he said, I walked to him and I told him to lift two of his hands. 
And when he lifted his hands, I started removing what looked like maggots out from his hands. Like that. Remove or maybe a number of them. When the gentleman said that happened, by the next day he got a job. Next day he got a job. See, I've told you time does not change anything. You must engage with prophecy. You must engage with prophecy. Don't wait until miracle service when you write your prayer request and bring it here. Go and write it now. And trust God for grace. One hour in the night will not stop your sleep. We spend three hours worrying. Wake up in the night. Every man in Koinonia is an intercessor. Let me tell you, if you are a married man in this place and you are not an intercessor, you are not a good ambassador. Learn it to wake up and pray. Put that request on the ground. Place your hand on it. Pray. It will look like nothing is happening. Don't mind what you are seeing. You just pray. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. Let me tell you what will happen when you pray. Satan will use the sense realm to send images that negate what you are trying to do because he knows that to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You can even finish that prayer and go back to bed and have a dream that is another negative connotation. And you stand up and say, but I just wasted my time. So these three days prayer and fasting is nothing. If it was not bringing an effect to hell, the devil would not send you that kind of dream. The key is to remain. Let me tell you this. There are certain prayers that you don't pray for one day. Let me be sincere with you. And I don't mean to insult anybody, but that understanding that when you pray once, it's done. Well, I may not have enough experience to challenge that, but I can tell you the one I know. That when you stay on an issue, huh, and you pray and cry, Jesus prayed, he came out, saw the disciples, went back and prayed the same words, the same way, three times, Jesus prayed. The Bible said, looking up to Jesus. Not up to any prophet or any man of God. Don't pray once and sit down. How long do I pray until you see the feast manifest in the earth realm? You pray on when you see the, the cloud manifest in the earth realm. It gives you a sign then you know that those realities have reached. Otherwise, please pray. If it takes 21 days, pray. The grace for the, the spirit of gluttony that will not allow you to fast and pray. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. It's a different thing if you have a health issue that may not allow you to pray. There are many of us, the last time you fasted was during um, fasting and prayer. That's not healthy for your spiritual life. Please don't say it, it does not matter. Everybody, know, we know where we are coming from. By God's grace, our children will not go through this. But in between where you are coming from and where you are going, you must stand as a bridge and flog this thing out once and for all. Reject spiritual laziness. Stay with the word. Please listen to me. Let me advise you. I say this not to everybody. At least I have a responsibility over you. Please obtain grace from God to sit down in one place. This spirit of running up and down. From here visiting this, running and down. I can't do that spirit in this season in Jesus' name. You must obtain grace. Don't sit in your room gisting, gossiping, talking. Open your Bible and sit down for God's sake. And study. More than listening to a message. Carry your Bible. Carry your notebook. And sit down. Read something. Spirit of the living God, open my eyes and sit down and read. There were times when any house you go to, you see people, even if they are just in, their Bible is in front of them. But right now, is this, these are phones everywhere. You sit down, you are watching film, you are watching this. I'm not saying it's wrong, but life has seasons, for God's sake. A farmer who is sleeping during rainy season, will be foolish to go to the farm during harvest. The earth still works on seed time and harvest. 
You are a man of God here. Reduce your physical exposure and stay in the secret place and pray. I move around and I'm pastor this, I'm a prophet this, I'm a apostle this. Sit down in one place with the word. Be sound in scripture. Be mighty in power. Most of what you need for your destiny is internal. Sit down. Don't become a busybody roaming here and there. You know, in the afternoon, you are there in the hot sun. You are moving around. You visit this one. I'm not saying visitation is wrong. But you are at a critical point of your destiny. Receive grace to sit down. Study. When you fall asleep and you stand up and you didn't read your Bible, you didn't pray, don't act like nothing happened. Don't forgive yourself for nothing. No! You stand up. Any time is right for prayer. If you plan to pray in the morning and evening, that's my recommendation for you. I've told you. The morning times and the evening times are powerful times. So said the ministry of Jesus. There are few times Jesus prayed in the afternoon. I'm not saying prayer in the afternoon is wrong. But the activities of life will not give you the kind of focus. Wake up in the morning and pray. Wake up in the night and pray. Some of you as you go back now. Don't say it's too late and it's too cold. Receive grace from God. Stretch a little and pray. And don't just pray anyhow. Pray strategically. Pray scriptures. Obtain grace from God. There's no light. You switch on your candle. You switch on your phone. Instead of just watching a movie and then you, 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 watch, you watch spirit to enter your destiny. There is a price for this thing. Let me tell you. God is not a magician. There is a real price. Either you want it or you don't. But if you want it, you mean business. And be aware of distractors. Are we together? There are people who are sincere people. But somehow it looks like because of their weakness, they allow the devil. Just when you want to pray, they just come and knock your house. Have the courage to tell people, please, I would appreciate it if you want to come and see me. I truly would appreciate that you just let me know. I may be studying. Or you can come anytime, but please don't be offended if you come and find me studying. Somebody should not buy a DVD and come to your house to watch and say his own sport. Is that a blessing? What if he comes to meet you doing something? Please take your life seriously. This is about destiny. Make up your mind that this prophetic word must come to pass. Especially this issue of finances. Go and get there are too many messages that have been preached around the area of finances. Get it and sit with it. Don't just say, lay hands on me. Thank God for seed. Thank God for the prophetic But Sit down. I'm a young man. What does it take to be established? Lord, will I end up in this one room forever? The answer is yes, until you change it. You sit down. What do I need to know? Are we together? Father, we thank you. We bless you for tonight. You have shown to us that without engaging prophecy it will fail. And you have shown to us that negative prophecies can be changed. Lord, bring us together as a family of faith and as a body of believers to a point where we exalt the truth of your word. We exalt the immutability of your counsel more than any opinion. We choose the word of God as a sure word, a more sure word of prophecy. We choose the word of God as final authority in all matters over our lives. We stake our lives at your word. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for your precious people. Every condition that needs to be engaged to actualize every prophetic word that is upon their lives. I pray that both the grace and the understanding be revealed to them. In the name of Jesus. That you will act out in faith. And that in the name of Jesus the Lord will honor you. And the Lord will cause your life to be an unending testimony of wonders. Do this O God and be glorified. For in Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. Let me make an altar call. Last week, because of time, I couldn't make an altar call. A gentleman sent me a text and said, Apostle, I was waiting for an altar call.
I really wanted to give my life to Jesus. It broke me so bad. I asked the Lord for forgiveness. And so no matter what it is, we will have to make an altar call. Please keep standing. We are already rounding up. Please keep standing. Let's honor those who will be coming. There are people inside. There are people outside who are saying, Apostle, I desire to hand my life over completely to Jesus. Or I desire to rededicate my life. If there's anyone like that, you're inside, you're outside, you're saying, I need Jesus, time is gone, but I need Jesus, please make your way to the front very quickly. Don't be ashamed, don't wait for anybody to come. Whether you're outside, make your way inside. God bless you. God bless you. Someone is coming. God bless you. Those outside, overflow one, overflow two, please clear the way for them very quickly. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You're standing before Jesus. This is the beginning of a great life, the beginning of a great destiny. Those coming from outside, please clear the way for them, protocol. If there's anyone coming, if you're coming, please double up, make it quick, make it quick, our time is gone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you very, very much. God bless you. This is a place where no one at all for any reason and under any condition would condemn you. We're here, we're a family, we love you, we salute your courage for making Jesus Lord of your life. This is why, uh, one of the reasons why he created this platform. It's my joy and my honor to lead you to Jesus, young, old. I want you to lift your right hand and say this passionately and truthfully after me. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight... If you're joining them, please come very quickly so that you participate in the prayer. Come quickly. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word and I declare by faith that you are Lord, you are Savior, you are King over my life and my destiny. I ask for mercy. I ask for forgiveness. I ask for the newness of life. From tonight, I declare that I am a child of God. I am saved. The Spirit of the Lord lives within me. The grace to live a victorious life is mine right now. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, thank you for this once. Precious people you have brought by your Spirit and by your grace. They are making commitments. And some of them are rededicating their lives to you. You are the only one who can keep us. You are the only one who can build us. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of Satan, the power of sin is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus, the grace to walk in victory is released upon you right now. I declare that from tonight you go forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for this decision. Um, there's someone waving his hands. All of you, please look at me in concert. I just want you to follow this gentleman.